I'ma soon forget it. So far between the lines, I'ma write a new set, a new beginning. Reflecting on the times that were that hard. I've fallen down many times, but I got mad hard. Uh, you see, I'm in it to win it. Hey YouTube, we're back. Mexican Leaks Therapy Garage. Uh, wanted to give you a quick update on the Monte Carlo daily driver what I got going on today um, trying to heat up the shop real quick it's gonna be cold next few days so down here in Texas man the weather's crazy um, but I love it let me uh, get things going here I was getting ready to pull my ladder out that's why I was looking up because I was thinking about I need to go upstairs to get a few parts um, for my dashboard because I want to, once I get everything stripped off the, bo the body, the rest of the things I need to get stripped off and paint, I'm going to put it in epoxy primer. Um, hold on, let me turn this heater off. Not sure if it's drowning me out. But I want to bring my dashboard down. Get it bolted up, put it in the car where it needs to go. Um, that way, after I get the car in epoxy primer, I can go ahead and mock up where my new AC box uh, heater housing or whatever that's called is going to go underneath the dash. I need to map all that out, drill all the holes in my firewall, in the patch panel that I put in, get all that situated before I do any kind of paint work, body work. I want to have all that done holes drilled cut whatever I need to do um, that way I know more or less where everything's gonna go once I get done and start putting this car back together same thing with the wire harness I got a wire harness from uh, American Auto Wire it's a universal kit because they didn't make one specific to the Monte Carlo um, so I think I got a 20 or 22 circuit uh, wire harness all new fuse box with the plastic fuses rather than the glass fuses so I'm gonna rewire the whole car do a video on that later um, it's gonna be a while yet we got a long way to go but I'm gonna turn this camera around show you what I've gotten done so far what I've done in the past few days after I've gotten off work I didn't make any videos of it because it was just real quick and let's turn this camera around. as you can see I put plastic up over where my upstairs is at in order to contain a lot of the bondo dust and stuff like that i don't like that being all over the shop um it is a shop so it's going to get dirty i understand that but i like coming in here and chilling and the wife and i or a family comes over to visit we like turning on the music the disco light we bring out the karaoke machine you know we call it the mexican lease boom boom room at nighttime after hours so Anyways, we got the plastic up best I can. Uh, it does contain a lot of the dust. So that is the main reason for putting it up. This is the fifth rim that I had a tire on at the time. It was my spare. So one of my wheels of the four that I already had painted, it is really uh, eaten up inside here pretty bad. Uh, not I mean not it, it's still the strength of the rim is there nothing's wrong with it but this is going to be the good rim that's going to go back on the car the other one I'm going to keep as a spare so this one's all stripped and ready to get painted I got to go buy some paint they weren't open today I worked all week so wasn't able to make it in there before uh to buy the paint but even even yet even if I would have tried today would have been way too cold so let's show you what I got done here. The firewall is completely stripped. It had that bed liner on it. I didn't, like I told you guys before, I didn't want to put a paint stripper on there because I don't want it to run down and damage anything underneath. So there's a few holes that I plugged up on the car. This hole originally was for the uh, LS swap harness. So now I think I'm gonna drill it and put it under here. I think I'm gonna cut a hole and put it under here. That way, it's still, my, my computer's still gonna mount on the side here. I'm gonna have the harness come out this way. That way I still have a little bit more room uh, in the wire harness, the wires, because I didn't think about that before. 
when I had it way over here. So the wires that were on this side of the car, well, excuse me, were pretty, uh, they, were, they were close. You know, I only had a little bit of room here and there to kind of hide wires or make them fit because of the wire harness plug being way over here. The way they have it made is to where it needs pretty much kind of be in the center of the car. That way all the wires are even on both sides, okay? So I filled this hole in, I'll put a new hole over here, reroute my wire harness for that, welded up a couple holes here and there, I put a bolt through the firewall and welded it. I'm gonna smooth that out. That way I have a ground into the body and I'm not having to shoot screws through the outside through my new paint. Um, all that's finished. The only thing I have to do is clean up inside here, get some of the undercoating out of here. I got a little bit of undercoating on this flap here that's got to get cleaned off. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much done and stripped. So I got a little bit of rust pitting here and here on these panels. I'm not going to cut that out. We're going to clean that up real good. I hit it with the wire wheel. And as you can see, it's cleaned up really nice, but I'm sure it's going to come back because a lot of times this rust is underneath all these plates, it's underneath the metal. So we're just gonna clean that up and I'll put something on it, uh, maybe the Tamco uh, Monocoat, something that'll kind of seal that. And then I'll seam seal all these cracks, all these body seams. I'll put some seam sealer, fresh seam sealer all the way around, all the way around the car. Down here, around the doors, everything. Everything's gonna be fresh seam sealer. So now, what I ended up doing last night when I got home from work, I got the roof stripped, all the body work. I'm taking this sunroof back out. And I, like I told y'all, y'all seen it already in previous videos. I got a, a panoramic roof that's going in here. So I'm gonna cut a pretty big hole. A lot of these dents and stuff that were up here, a lot of that, all, all that's gonna be cut out. So the major issue that I had on this car, there were some dents back here that were pretty deep. So I know my roof's probably gonna come back to maybe right here. So hopefully a lot of that gets cut out and I can fix it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see once I get to that point. But all this, the whole roof, the sides, quarter panels all the way to the bottom I got all that ground off I put a 36 grit pad on my buffer as you can see here this is my old school buffer man I had this thing partner gave it to me over probably 30 years but she did the job one disc did the job so all this stuff all this primer I'm gonna take off with the DA I'm gonna sand it by hand if I need to I'm not putting no paint stripper on this car. I'll get all my jams, get all that cleaned up. Sorry if the camera's getting a little out of focus. But as you can see, the whole body's stripped. There's no holes in it. This thing was clean, man. This car was clean. I hit this down here. I didn't want to ground off my pins. So I'm gonna put this chrome back on the bottom. So I hit that with all the DA, clean all that up in the fender wells. So she's ready. We're gonna hit all of this with 80 grit on the DA, smooth it all out. Once it's all ready and stripped inside the window channel, once all that's done and stripped, these door jams, I'm gonna clean them out real good today. If it doesn't get too cold too fast, we're gonna go ahead and clean all this out. We're going to strip all this. And now I'm taking my hinges off, but I need to mark them because this one, I had hinges off of a 73, I believe, or a 74 Monty, and they were different. And on mine, this, this bolt here, I don't know, with the roller on it for the spring, Mine had fell apart. It rusted out so bad that the wheel came off 
and the spring I couldn't hold it I couldn't have a spring in it it wouldn't so I wouldn't be I wasn't able to hold the door the, the door just opened and closed freely and I didn't like that and the other hinge this was wore out so bad here that the door hung real bad no matter even if I put a brand new pin and bushing in it it hung too bad it was uh, the hole was wore out so bad that it was oblonged so I ended up taking a different one off of a different car and welded this piece in on my on from the other car and made it work but this side on the other car didn't fit the, the hinge from the other car wasn't able to work on my doors so that was different the holes were uh, drilled different so I still may uh, hit Jesse up and um, Big Monty's I might go ahead and hit him up and, and get another set of hinges but we'll see I'm gonna take these off um, I'll put them, soak them in some paint stripper, clean them up real good, put new pins and bushings in them. I may paint them and then see how that goes. Um, I may keep them, but we're going to keep pushing. All this is getting stripped. All the old uh, seam sealers coming off. So hopefully today I can get all this completed. And uh, I don't care if it sits in bare metal for a few days till it warms up. But yeah, I want him ready at least by the weekend for uh, etch. I mean, not etch primer. I'm sorry. I always keep saying that when I talk to people. Um, epoxy primer. And throughout all my years of doing body work, paint work, um, custom factory, I've never used epoxy primer. I've used a lot of etch primer, but never epoxy. So uh, this is going to be new to me. Um, and like I say, I, I, this is my full-time job, so if I was able to get on this car and knock it out within a week or two, I wouldn't use epoxy. But because the car is going to sit days at times because I work so much, then I wouldn't worry about... I mean, that, that's why I'm worrying about putting epoxy on it. Um, the homeboy Jose out there, uh, Pistolores... Um, custom painting out there in, uh, down here in Texas and Houston, I believe he's got a shout out to him and he's hooked me up with a lot of my Tamco products. Um, I know Tammy's not with Tamco anymore. Her mom and dad are running the business and I've gotten a few things from them. So all this, th this whole build is going to be all Tamco. Um, a shout out to her. I know she started her own business, new business. Um, so maybe I'll check their paint out later on, from my Impala. But uh, she gave me a great deal of help at the time when she was with Tamco. So her and Sean are awesome. But um, I want to get I want to get this done today. I, I'm I'm trying to stay focused and get it done. Trying not to think about food. Um, I I, I want to get this done today. So we need to hurry up and get pushing. Once I get the body completed and in epoxy primer because I, I, I want to keep it under this area right here once i get that completed the car will be out of the shop i mean out of this side not out of the shop because it's not going back outside ever again until it's done it's going to get pushed over to this side then we'll get the hood the doors the trunk stripped and in epoxy as well so as you can see, I didn't touch the doors. That's factory paint on there. But uh, man, we, we gotta go, we gotta keep pushing. So let's get this camera cut off and uh, get things warmed up again and get to pushing. We'll cut you back on here in a little bit. All right, YouTube, we're back. It's another day, different day from when I was out here the other day. It was got cold got cold real fast had the heater going i didn't want to burn up all the little bit of fuel i had just to keep the heat just to keep it decently warm in here so i shut down i did one side of the uh jams the door jam um side of the firewall i got all that done all that stripped i just got to hit some of the corner edges uh with the die grinder and the little wheel um but that's about it. That whole side is done. Driver's side is done. Um, now I'm working on the passenger side. So I wanted to make another quick video to add to what I already have and show you guys what I'm doing. So got the camera switched around. 
Now I'm hitting this with the 80 grit on my DA and also using my die grinder with this little, uh, I don't know what that's called, a little abrasive disc. It's kind of like a scotch brite, but it cleans up metal really well. So this is what we're doing. We're gonna hit all this in here, get all that cleaned up and stripped. All the black, all the way in here is gonna get all totally stripped. The weather stripping, the glue that's in here, all that's coming out. I'll show you on the driver's side how that came out. Came out real nice. So we're hitting all the edges inside here, the side part of the firewall. All that's getting cleaned up and stripped today. It's a lot warmer today. Still cool out, but it's a lot warmer. The sun is beaming, um, keeping the shop a lot warmer. So I don't have to continuously run my, my heater. Um, so this is what we got on the driver's side. All that's pretty much stripped. Like I said, there's a couple areas that I will go into with the die grinder and clean that up. I couldn't get my DA in here at that angle because of this perch that I have right here holding the body up. So I'll get in there with the die grinder, clean that up. I might have to go buy a few more discs, another box, but all this is done. It got really cold once the sun went down that day, so I went in the house. I shut down, went in the house, got warm, ate a good meal, and watched TV with the kids and, well, really the family. So, the winter here in Texas is different, man. I'm from Michigan, and I can deal with the snow and a whole bunch of snow. Um, but, man, we have a winter storm here in Texas. It's It's ice, all ice. So... That's, that's definitely something different that we deal with here. So now it, it's a lot nicer outside. Um, a lot of the ice is gone, except where a lot of the shade is at. That's where, uh, you know, it, it's still pretty much there. As you can see outside my shop where the shade really kind of, sun doesn't hit them areas, there's still ice there. So, but as you can see, pretty much gone in the yard it's just real mushy out now but i got a few more tanks of gas to go keep me going but today i'm really focused on trying to get pretty much everything stripped i'm gonna have uh my son come out here my younger son come out here and help me with the wire wheel to start getting this done while i'm working on the body the body's not going to take that long it's just the small areas that i got to kind of get different tools here and there to kind of get in there that's what's taking the longest so all that's going to be stripped down to bare metal and i like i said I'm, I'm glad i did it you know i had did the body work i did previously on this car was great the thing was smooth it was flat so if i wouldn't have had the back injury i could have had this done and painted but i'm glad i did it because there's a lot of things that i i need to address um from that primer sitting even though it was under a tarp, there were spots that were already starting to come through and rust underneath that primer. This stuff here as well, I'm peeling all this back up. Because like I said, there was, you know, you could see the line, how deep that water sat in my floors. And it started getting underneath this uh, undercoating and it started rusting my floors out. So that's why I had to drill holes in them pockets on the side in order to get the water out. So all that's getting peeled up as well. I'm not going to hit it with the torch because I already did the belly of the car. I wish I would have saw that before I sprayed the bottom because I would have, man, I would have heated all this up, got it out of here, and then sprayed both at the same time. But that's all right. I, I'm not worried about that. I can get it done. I am a one-man team. Um, that's why it's taking me so long. But again, this is for my therapy. This helps me cope with my daily life, my job, my family, you know, everybody out here in this world. Um, I tune everything out and I, I focus on me and my situation. So this helps me out big time. I don't need to go spend thousands on a therapist. I don't need medication, pills. Um, I do take pain pills for my back. I've had a few back surgeries already and uh, that's the main thing that I have to deal with when I can't do work 
when I, you know, that back starts acting up and it flares up, I shut down, I go in the house and um, I have to rest. So I see my doctor three, four times a year for injections. They do want to do surgery to take another disc out, but I'm trying to hold off as long as I can, get some things squared away with my financial. Um, I want, I want my, my financial side stabilized. I want it even. I want everything set so that way when I do have to go get this surgery again, it's going to put me down. This time, I'm going to stay out as long as the doctor tells me to. I'm not going to rush to get back to work. I'm not going to rush to get back on my cars. So I'm going to take my time this time and heal good. Um, I know they say, you know, once they open you up, you're never going to be back 100%. I just, I got to get back to at least, you know, 75, but, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a story about me and another little story about me, but it's all good. Um, my rim, my fifth rim is complete, completely sanded and scuffed and cleaned and sandblasted. So that's ready for paint. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit warmer. So. All five rims will be painted. I already have the brand new tire just waiting for it to get put installed, but I got to paint that first. Um, I'll be painting my intake soon again too, once it gets warm. Um, I was going to get the, the sheet metal intake for this mo this motor, but I'm not going all out like that. This is going to be a daily driver. It ain't going to be no racer. It's going to have a little, you know, nice little oomph to it, but it ain't going to be crazy because it's going to be a daily driver once again. But kind of wanted to give y'all an update what's going on the reason why it's taking so long to kind of get to this stage um the weather did play a big part in it and when it gets cold like that it shuts me down my back starts hurting um and i have to go you know i got that that metal in my back so it it, it bothers me it hurts so um i have to go sit down and rest but now today like i said the sun is beaming it's staying a little bit warmer in the shop. I got to hurry up before the sun goes down. I want to get a majority of this done today. So this video, I'm going to go ahead and shut down, um, get as much stripped, get everything ready to go so I can get that epoxy primer put on. Um, once I get to that stage, I'll make a new video and I, hopefully I can actually capture me spraying. Uh, I'm using my phone. I don't want to get a bunch of overspray on it. So uh, I'm trying to see what would be the best way to do that. Um, if not, what I'll do is I'll record in between spraying so that way the overspray doesn't get on my phone. But um, today's video, today's therapy session is gonna be done. Um, I'll cut you guys back on in a new video once I get this all done. As you can, you, you guys basically see what I'm doing wire wheel, um, the die grinder with the little disc on it, and my DA with the 80 grit. I don't have to go into detail as far as showing every single step on how I'm sanding, um, you know, stuff like that. But you guys get the basic idea of what's going on. So let me get back to sanding, and uh, this video is going to be done. So we'll cut you on when I get the new step, once I get to the next step. Then I'll cut you guys back on and get a new video going. Again, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's, you know, checking me out. Um, comments, you know, you guys, that, that keeps me motivated. That keeps me going. So it, it's, it's you know, for old man, man, it's, it helps out. So I do appreciate it. And if I'm helping anybody out out there, you know, with their, with their uh, builds, um, you know, like I say, hit me up. Let me know. If you need any help as far as, you know, uh, information wise, I, I'll spread the knowledge, man. I don't mind. I, I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to hold you, you know, give you some bullshit uh, information. I'm, I'm going to show you or, or tell you or, or help you with what I can and the knowledge that I know and the, the knowledge that I've gained. And even guys out there, man, I'm, I'm learning from them as well, you know, watching their videos. There's a, there's a numer there's numerous people. Uh, I'm going to give them a shout out in my next video. I'm going to write all their names down, their channels, and uh, give them a shout out in the next video because them guys also, man, younger guys, older guys, um, they're giving me the motivation to keep going as well. 
So that helps also. And I do want to, you know, say thanks to them. But like I said, in the next video, I'll shout them out. But um, again, today we're, we're, we're going to keep pushing. So we'll see you guys next time. Mexican Leaves Therapy Garage. Check it out. Thank you. Set a new beginning Reflecting on the times that were that hard I've fallen down many times But 